Hi everyone, for those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished my degree at the University of Leeds studying mathematics and I'll be going on to study a master's in mathematics at the University of Cambridge in September. So today I thought I would share with you what book I found really helped before I went on to study a maths degree. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I read it, but I just thought I would share it with you. This video has is not sponsored, uh, you know, at all. It's just a book that I remember reading. I read it on holiday and it kind of had a few things in it that really resonated within me and things that I've kind of remembered throughout my degree, surprisingly. You know, books often can have an influence on, on how you think and, and what you do. And I think this book was definitely it. Um, it's very obvious title um, and it's this book it's by Lara Alcock and it's how to study for a mathematics degree I believe I got it off Amazon when I did get it you know I think I got it three years ago now so it's yeah it's quite an old book what I really liked about it was that the book was split up into two parts so the first part is mathematics so it goes through kind of calculation procedures abstract objects definitions it's kind of getting you ready for math so under this definition bit it says here you know what are definitions? What are theorems? And it reminds you that, you know, you go to university in maths, you learn theorems, you learn definitions, you learn axioms, all these things that are, that are listed here. And you kind of go, and I think this book helped me understand what all those things were, um, because you do have a load of different things in a maths degree. So the first part, you know, was mathematics. There are, there are things like theorems, proofs, proof types and tricks, you know, reading mathematics, writing mathematics. I think that really helped was the reading and the writing part was because sometimes you don't really know how to write maths. I think maths can be very simple in the sense that you just write down the maths. And what I've learned is that if you explain what you do, you're more likely to get, you know, pick up marks. Because if you, you know, accidentally do something wrong or it's not clear to the reader what you're doing, I think writing out what you're doing is, is really helpful. And this is what this book taught me was, you know, how to properly read maths and how to write it. Um, so the first part, you know, is very much, oh, this is what you could have on your maths degree. These are theorems, axioms, just a load of different things. And I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed understanding what maybe uni maths would be like. And then the second part, which is study skills, I really enjoyed this part. And this was a lot of the stuff that I still remember now. It has helped me um, throughout my degree. So it's things like, you know, what a lecture is like, making lectures work for you, tackling common problems, other people. So lecturers as teachers asking questions before and after lectures, arranging separate meeting with the lecturer. Oh, my bookmark just fell out. <laughs> uh, time management, you know, what to do when you're getting behind, uh, you know, not not being the best, you know, doing well at university. What does understanding look like? Keeping up, you know, the mythical genius, as it were, it says. And that second part of, of the book, I really enjoyed because it taught you that, you know, it kind of explained what you, maths at university is very, very, very much like. And when you read it and then go, you're like, yeah, that is actually very, very true. I think the book itself really helped me before going. There was something that it said in here, and, and I remember this throughout my degree, and it's that 70% is a first for a reason. I've mentioned this on my other videos and in my advice videos, and I've, I got it from, from this book, was that 70% is a first for a reason. And, you know, you, you don't need to understand absolutely everything. You go from A-levels, if it's A-levels that you've done, where you need to understand everything to then get your A-star or, or whatever it is that you, you want to get. You know, 70% is a first for a reason. You don't need to understand absolutely everything. And that's something I've kind of remembered throughout my degree. I've tried my best to understand things, but if there are things that I've just been stuck on for ages that I just cannot do, sometimes, you know, that that's okay. I try my hardest and that's, that's the best that you can do. And that's something that I realised from this book. It was a really helpful book, I would say, before I studied my maths degree. Kind of a lot of things, you know, still resonate within me, like the 70%, you know, for a first. Sometimes you can get caught up in the trap of, oh my gosh, I don't understand this, I'm failing, I'm doing terribly. But it's okay, you know, you have plenty of time to revise, you have plenty of time to ask lecturers for help and, and ask them to go through it if you don't understand things. So this book, How to Study for a Mathematics Degree, I would say is, is the book that definitely helped me throughout my degree I would say um, just before going it helps reassure you before you do go for a maths degree you know this this book has been helpful you know I'd recommend getting it I'm sure there will probably be a pdf version of it you know three years ago probably wasn't but there probably is now so a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in my videos there are things that I realized when I read that 
kind of a, a so true and that's why I try and reiterate it to you there will be things in that book if you do get the book that I say all the time throughout my videos so my plan is making this YouTube video real true about a math degree I honestly get slightly frustrated when people steer away from the truth you know I don't understand the point in doing that just make things as representative as possible talk about how you know honestly your honest opinions on things because I think study YouTube can be toxic in a certain element. A lot of people will do these amount of hours and, and do all these things and it's not realistic at all. I can say that, you know, sometimes I will get the camera out in order for me to do a better day's worth of work because, you know, it makes me more productive. But there are days where I just literally are tired and exhausted that I, that I do very minimal amount of work and some days where I just take the day off to relax and I think making a youtube channel that is completely real and authentic and, and true about studying a math degree hopefully you will understand you know this is exactly what a math degree will be like somebody commented on one of my previous videos saying you know you share what a math degree is like in very in a realistic way um, and they said it's very rare so that's what i'm trying to do and i'm also trying to just in inspire more people to get into the world of math i love it i've loved my degree so hopefully if I can inspire, you know, one person to go and study maths at, at uni and they absolutely love it, then, you know, that's incredible to me. So, yeah, as I said, this book really helped me. There are a lot of things I say on my YouTube that is in this book. If you don't really understand how maths degree works in terms of how you transition from A-level to maths lectures, this book is really helpful, especially the first part of it. And the second part just kind of explains some things that you probably wouldn't have known you know what do lecturers do outside of teaching some very very simple things that you may not know and stuff that now for me seems very obvious but for somebody who's starting a degree may not understand so yeah I'd say this book definitely helped me before I went to go and study a maths degree and hopefully it will help you too if you do read it um but you know you don't need to get the book there are a lot of resources online that you can use and, and read that will help you but I guess that has been the video today. I thought I'd share with you the book that helped me before I went to university and give you an honest opinion of, you know, what the book is about and also just honest opinions about studying maths as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.